Did you know that on the Whole30 diet you'll eat more than you ever have but you won't be consuming a single grain of sugar? Surprising, right? Welcome to the world of Whole30, a program that's not just about losing weight, but about resetting your relationship with food. It's about discovering how whole foods can improve your overall well-being. Picture this. A month of meals packed with proteins, fruits, and vegetables, but sans the sugar. Sounds like a tough cookie to crack, doesn't it? But hey, who said change was easy? And speaking of cookies, you may need to bid them goodbye for a while. It's a short-term reset, not a long-term sentence. But remember, this isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. It's about finding out what works best for you. So if you're planning to sweet-talk your way out of this, think again. Imagine a diet where you can eat until you're full. Sounds like a dream, huh? But wait, there's a catch. Welcome to the Whole30 menu, a culinary world where fruits, vegetables, and lean meats reign supreme. This kingdom of nutrition is brimming with vibrant colors and flavors that will make your taste buds do a happy dance. Savor the crispness of a freshly picked apple, the juicy tenderness of a well-cooked piece of chicken, and the earthy wholesomeness of a hearty sweet potato. And it's not just about the food you're eating, it's about how you feel when you're eating it. You're not just consuming calories, you're nourishing your body with fuel it can use efficiently. The Whole30 menu is like a love letter to your stomach filled with food that loves you back. But alas, not all foods are invited to this nutritional party. Some of our beloved comfort foods like pizza and ice cream have been shown the exit. I know, it's like a plot twist in a Shakespearean tragedy. But don't despair. Whole30 isn't about deprivation, but transformation. It's about trading temporary pleasure for long-term wellness. And let's not forget about the seafood and eggs generously contributing their protein-packed goodness to the Whole30 cause. Add a dash of natural fats from avocados, nuts, and seeds, and you've got yourself a banquet fit for a health-conscious king or queen. But wait, there's more. We also have herbs, spices, and seasonings to jazz up your meals. So, while you might be saying adios to sugar and processed foods, you're saying hola to a world of flavor. So, what's the catch I mentioned earlier? Well, the Whole30 menu is about commitment, a month-long pledge to put your health first. It's about resetting your relationship with food and discovering how whole foods can improve your overall health. So it's goodbye to pizza parties and hello to veggie feasts. But remember, it's not about what you can't have, but what what you can. And trust me, the Whole30 menu has a lot to offer. So are you ready to dive in? Because your body is ready to thank you. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more fun and informative content. Remember when you used to sneak candy into your room as a kid? Well, no such luck with the Whole30 diet. Ah, the sweet, sweet nostalgia of childhood rebellion. But in the world of Whole30, there's no room for such mischief. Imagine Whole30 as that strict school teacher you had back in the day, the one who could spot a cheat sheet from a mile away. That's right, the Whole30 diet is all about dedication, discipline, and absolutely, positively, no cheating. Now you might be thinking, what's a little cheat meal here and there? Well, let me put it this way. Picture yourself setting up a row of dominoes, each one meticulously placed. You've been working on it for 30 days. Now imagine, on the 29th day you decide to knock one domino over just to see what happens. What happens? The entire row falls down, all your hard work undone by one little push. That's what cheating does on Whole30. The rules of Whole30 are as strict as they come. No sugar, real or artificial, no alcohol, not even for cooking, no grains, dairy or legumes, and definitely no recreating your favorite junk foods with approved ingredients. This isn't a diet where you can have your cake and eat it too. In fact, there's no cake at all. But don't let this scare you. The Whole30 diet is not about punishment. It's about resetting your relationship with food. It's about understanding the impact of what you eat on your body. It's about taking control. So, how about we approach this with a bit of humor? Let's think of the Whole30 rules as a game of Simon Says. Simon says, eat whole foods. Simon says, avoid processed junk. Simon didn't say, eat that chocolate bar. You're out. In this game, there's no room for sneaky maneuvers. But don't worry, once you get the hang of it, it's actually kind of fun. And the reward? feeling healthier, happier, and more in tune with your body than ever before. So if you're thinking of sneaking in a chocolate bar, you might want to reconsider. Because in the Whole30 world, no one likes a cheater, but everyone loves a winner. Think Whole30 is just about losing weight? Guess again. The Whole30 diet, my friends, is the Swiss army knife of diets. It's not just out there tackling those pesky pounds, oh no. It's got its hands in the holistic health pot, stirring up a delightful brew of benefits that extend far beyond the scale. For starters, let's talk digestion. You know that sluggish feeling after a heavy meal? 
Like you've swallowed a bowling ball and it's decided to settle in for a long winter's nap right there in your stomach? Whole30 kicks that to the curb. By focusing on whole foods and eliminating those known to cause inflammation and digestive issues you'll soon be saying, bowling ball? What bowling ball? But that's not all. Imagine waking up feeling refreshed, even before your morning coffee. On the Whole30 you'll be trading in those sugary snacks that cause energy crashes for nutrient-dense meals that keep your energy levels steady. You'll be a Duracell bunny, going and going and going. And let's not forget about sleep. The kind of sleep where you close your eyes and the next thing you know it's morning. No tossing, no turning, just pure unadulterated slumber. Whole30's emphasis on balanced nutrition helps regulate your body's natural rhythms, promoting better sleep. It's like a lullaby for your body, without the creepy nursery rhymes. And the benefits don't stop there. Clearer skin, improved focus, even a more positive mood. They're all up for grabs. It's like your body is having a party and everyone's invited. Sounds too good to be true? Well, that's the beauty of Whole30. It's not promising a miracle, it's not about shedding pounds in record time, it's about resetting your relationship with food and discovering how good your body is designed to feel. So not only will you be shedding pounds, but you might just start bouncing out of bed in the morning. If you thought the Whole30 diet was going to be a walk in the park, well dot 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 it quote s, more like a run up a hill. Now don't get me wrong, this isn't to scare you off, but rather to give you a heads up about the hurdles you might face. Picture this, you're at a birthday party. There's cake, there's ice cream, there's all sorts of delectable delights. And you're standing in the corner with your carrot sticks and boiled chicken. Not exactly the life of the party, huh? That's right folks, the social limitations can be a bit of a downer. And then there are the cravings. Oh, the cravings. It's like your body suddenly decides it's in love with all things sugar, dairy, and grains. You might find yourself dreaming of donuts, fantasizing about french fries and longing for lattes. It's as if your taste buds are throwing a tantrum, demanding all the things you're not supposed to have. Do you remember the strict rules we talked about earlier? Yes, those. They can be a bit of a challenge too. No cheating, remember? Even a tiny morsel of forbidden food can mean starting the whole cycle over again. It's like playing a game of food Jenga. One wrong move and everything topples down. And let's not forget the increased food costs. Shopping for fresh produce and high-quality meats can make your wallet feel a tad lighter. It's like going on a shopping spree, but instead of clothes, you're splurging on avocados and almond butter. But remember, every cloud has a silver lining. All these challenges might seem daunting, but they're also opportunities. Opportunities to learn self-discipline, to explore new foods, to reset your eating habits. The Whole30 diet isn't just about what you can't eat, it's also about discovering what you can eat, and how those foods can nourish your body and boost your health. But hey, who said all good things come easy? After all, the view is always better at the top of the hill. So, are you ready to run? So, you've heard the good, the bad, and the ugly of the Whole30 diet. Now, the million-dollar question, is it for you? Let's recap. The Whole30 diet is about resetting your relationship with food, focusing on whole foods to improve overall health. But it's not for everyone. It's a short-term reset, not a long-term solution. And it comes with its own set of challenges like social limitations, increased food costs, and the possibility of bouncing back to old habits. It's like deciding to adopt a pet tiger. It might seem thrilling at first, but you'll need to consider if you're ready for the responsibility, costs, and potential chaos in your life. And remember, just because your neighbor has a tiger doesn't mean you should get one too. So, consider your individual needs and goals. Do your research. Consult with a professional. And then decide, are you ready for the Whole30 challenge? Remember, the choice is all yours. To Whole30, or not to Whole30, that is the question. Don't forget, if you found this video helpful, be sure to smash that like button, and hit subscribe for more informative content like this. Stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video.